for each recording setup. Um, obviously we had to change the mic positioning, some of the tunings, uh, some of the uh, skins had to be taken off as well. Um, so what we've done here, this is for the jazz recording. What we did was taken off the front bass drum skin and put a dynamic mic just outside the rim of the skin to get the fullness of the bass drum sound. So it's not too not too punchy, there's not so much attack. Um the whole the overall setup here is um it's a four mic setup, um which seems to be the, the way most classic jazz albums have been recorded. We've got um two overhead mics here, um basically picking up all of the kit and lots of the room. We've got already discussed the bass drum mic, um and we have a condenser mic pointing at the snare um, just to get pick up the, the articulations in the snare. Um, I say the overall the the two mics at the top here pick up most of the most of the other uh, parts of the kit. The um, there's no other room mics, even though they have some other mics set up here. They're actually not switched on. They're from other sort of angles, which we'll discuss later. But um, yeah, this is the general setup for most um, jazz recordings apparently, so we went with this. Um, if we go around to the snare drum, we changed the snare drum for this recording and uh, used a, a piccolo snare. Uh, isn't as deep as the one we used for the other ones and uh, it's got a coated skin on top so the, the ghost notes picked up really well. The other thing we changed was the ride symbol. We used a a darker ride symbol to get a darker tone. This one also had a crack in it, so it had a, a nice kind of warm sound that was suitable for jazz. Um, and we took off one of the toms as well, so we only had the kind of classic uh, four drum setup that you can see here. And that's pretty much it for the jazz recording.